Greetings everyone, my name is Amit Kormakar and in this video I'm going to explain about my final year major project where I developed an application called as Irusu Block. Irusu Block is a XR based mobile application. It uses the technologies of AR and virtual reality and it provides benefit to both teachers and students for learning and teaching more effectively. Students can view the model in 3D mode, VR mode and AR mode the technologies that I've used for developing this software are Unity 3D, Blender 2.92, GIMP 2.1, C Sharp as our scripting language. Coming to the modules, there are mainly four modules in the app, which are Admin Module, Creator Module, Teacher Module, and Student Module. So now I'll explain about the application and how it will be beneficial for both the teachers and students we can see. So when we first start the application, we'll be presented with this splash screen and then it will ask for a login. For now, I'll create a new account. We'll fill up all the details such as name, email address, we are a student or teacher and the password. After clicking the sign up button, it will ask for my email verification. We have to click the link on our email and we can see that the email is verified. Now we can come back to our application, use the same login details and we can log into our application. Once logged in, we'll be presented with this home screen. Here, all the models will be separated by different categories. For example, science will have models such as human anatomy and all those things. Technology might have CPU, GPU, computers. Engineering will have vehicles, buses. Similarly, arts, mathematics, animals, and plants separate categories are there. For now, uh, we'll go inside any one of these categories. So let's go inside science. Once you go inside, we can see all the models are being loaded. From here, we can see that few models have a premium icon on the top right corner of their thumbnail. These models, if you wanted to view, we have to watch an ad. Otherwise, if we select the items which are not having that premium icon, we can view it for free. So this is the uh, viewing ad prop up. Once you click on watch ad, it will play an advertisement. We have integrated Google ads for our application. After the ad is played, on the top we can see that we have gotten one coin. So we can use this coin to unlock any of the models. For now, I'll go with this heart model. This is the lessons page. Here we'll have all the lessons that were created before. For now, I'll just view the model. So I will click on that view model button. After the model is loaded, it will provide us a 3D view of the entire model. Here, we can do various things such as enable the X-ray mode, which makes us see through the object. We can go ahead and choose the move tool to move separate parts of the object. We can also drag on the screen and pinch to zoom in and zoom out. Clicking on that reset button, we can reset the entire mesh into how it was before. Clicking on that focus button, we can focus on a single object. Clicking on the annotation button, we can see the annotation of each of the objects. Now on the bottom we have two buttons, one is for the layers as you can see here. In this layer panel we have all the separate parts of the model. So clicking on the text button on the right, it will read a description of the item using the Google text to speech API. For now we will click on this button, we can see that it is reading out the description of that object using text to speech. A large vein that carries blood to the heart from other areas of the body. The vena cava has two parts, the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. The superior vena cava carries blood from the head, neck, arms, and chest. We can also hide various items from this layers list using the visibility icon on the left. As you can see, we have removed few parts of the mesh and now it looks more clean. We can still 
disable few more items if you wanted to focus on a particular area of that object. Now the next panel is the animations panel. Here we can see all the available animations. For now we have uh, the heart pump and the idle animation. When you click on this heart pump, the heart will play that heart pumping animation that it was playing. If you click on that idle, the heart will stop so that you can focus more clearly on the object. So now I'll show this model in the Eraser block. So to do that, in the phone I'll go into block mode and it will open up the camera. I have to scan the cube and then the 3D model will come on top of this cube. So instead of dragging on the screen to move it, we can move the cube in our hand and the object will move accordingly. So all the features that we are able to do in normal mode can also be done in this mode. So clicking on the X-ray button, we can view the model in X-ray mode. Clicking on the annotations, we can see the annotation of each of the items. And also we can move each part of the object using the move tool. And also one more view is there which is called as AR mode. So in this mode you have to scan the floor and the 3D object will come on top of that floor. So this entire tool is called as viewer tool and this comes under the student module. Now let's create a lesson for our students. So we can select any model as we like. After selecting that model, instead of clicking on that view model, we can click on the create lesson button. So clicking that, it will open up the lesson info page. Here we can give a title for our lesson. In our case, we are using skull demo. We can choose a category of our choice and we can put a description about that lesson. After we are happy with all the details, we can click on the continue button. It takes some time for loading and it opens up the creator tool. So in this tool, we can add multiple elements such as YouTube videos, screen grab, audio recordings, and text to speech. For now, I'm adding a recording item. And once I start recording, I can record my voice as well as the movement that I'm doing with the camera and also the things that I'm doing in the viewport such as moving the separate parts of the item. After I stop the recording, I'll add a separate item called as text. In this item, I can add whichever text I wanted the text to speech API to speak for myself. So after I added the text, I'll click OK. And now let's add a different item such as uh, audio. So this only records the voice. So I can record a voice for our students and I can stop the recording. Lastly, we can add a YouTube video URL. So I'll open up the YouTube app. And from here, let's search a good video for describing the skull. We'll copy the link of this video. And we'll come back to our application and paste the link in the input field. After all the things are added, we can click save and save and exit from the creator tool. So now we'll open up the same model. And this time, instead of creating the lesson, we'll select the lesson that we just created that is called as the skull demo. And you can see that all the lesson details are visible here, which we have entered during the create lesson phase. So now we'll click on the start lesson button and it will open up in the viewer tool. So on the right side, if we expand this panel, we can see that all the recordings are added. When I click on the recording, it plays whichever movement I did at that time. We also have a seek bar at the bottom for stopping the playback or seeking it to a different time. Similarly, clicking on that video URL, the YouTube video will be played in the background. And also we have the ability to move the 3D object simultaneously to understand the concept clearly.
Now coming to the team details, in the development team, myself Amit and my, uh, senior developer Yakula Jairam was there and Satya Malagu was the project manager who is the founder and CEO of the company and Bharati Nagababu helped in the marketing. Finally, I would like to conclude by saying that this application has created a new way of learning for students. Students don't need to rely on watching only videos or uh, textbooks, but they can become self-learner, they can explore the application on their own. And because it is using a 3D graphics and realistic rendering techniques, the student will be more interested to learn. They might want to tinker it and they might want to dissect few parts of the object to see and understand it more clearly. For example, when I was studying biology, I wouldn't be knowing where the kidneys were. Because in the images, mostly we'll be seeing the intestine and all those things, but we'll not see the kidney. So it was hard to understand where the kidney was actually. But in 3D model, we can easily dissect and you can see that the kidneys were behind the intestine. So that's why it was not visible in the front image. This way, the students get an easier visualization, resulting in better understanding of the subject. Now, a few of the references that I'd like to mention is a good textbook on AR technology by Chetan G. Shetty, which helped me to learn all the AR technologies behind the application. For 3D models, I have used these websites, which provides royalty-free 3D models that we can use in our application. For image library, I have used freepic.com and pixabay.com, which provides royalty-free images that we can use for thumbnail and other purposes. Thanks for watching.